Stop eating my popcorn on Beers 99.9 FM Not Substitute advice. Radio. Take first exit to Fork in the Road. <laughs> on Beers 99.9 FM Substitute Radio. I'm your host, Glenn Blank, and I'm joined by my partner in crime, John Smith. Welcome, John. Hello. Now, today we're going to see the new movie... Take first exit to Fork in the Road. Today we're going to see the new movie, Wonder Woman, which is a very important movie because it's the third instalment... Because it's the third instalment of the DC Extended Universe franchise and... Drive 1.2 kilometers. Then turn right on Ringwood Warren Dyke Road. I don't think this is going to work. It's going to work. <laughs> this movie is important for two reasons. First, it's the third instalment of the DC Extended Universe franchise. And secondly, it's the first ever time that Wonder Woman has been in a feature film as the leading cast. Now, wow. now John, you were the one who chose this movie. Why did you choose it? Well, I thought that it would be you know, a fun movie to see. Turn right on Ringwood Warren Dyke Road. Shut the fuck up. And, uh, it would, you know, like most people going to see this movie, I'm on the wrong fucking road, man. <laughs> <laughs> like most people going to see this movie, they're interested in seeing a female lead character. So, yeah, that's one of the Turn reasons. right on Ringwood Warren Dyke Road. Absolutely. So there's a lot of things that we've got to look for. First of all, she's a superhero, so we've got to look at how she is displayed as a superhero in terms of her powers, in terms of her dual personality of being uh, a normal human in stealth and then being the superhero. And then there's also the action questions about how exciting is the action because she Continue is a... 2.9 kilometers. Because she... a roundabout and take <laughs> first exit. <laughs> the other element, of course, is the action because Wonder Woman is often depicted as the female version of Superman and Superman action movies are very boring because he's invincible so it can't actually be interesting when he... because there's no risk. And so can you actually create a risk and a sort of excitement around Wonder Woman combat? That's the second one. And the one that you mentioned, of course, is the female lead because... Hollywood does not have a very good record on having female action hero leads. You just have to think of the way they depicted Lara Croft in the Tomb Raider movie two decades ago, and that was um, revolting. And so can they actually correct their record and actually create a really good, uh, uh, decent, uh, ad admirable Wonder Woman? What are you looking for in this movie? element to consider is of course the question of the DC Extended Universe because the first two movies were of course Batman vs Superman and uh, Suicide Squad and they were both very badly made movies. Uh, Continue 1.2 kilometers then enter roundabout and take first exit. Poorly edited, <laughs> they were poorly edited, they were poorly casted, kind poorly like written. This. <laughs> and so can and it's clear that what DC are trying to do is set up for the Justice League movie, which is coming up next year. And so the question is, are they actually going to make a really decent Wonder Woman movie that can stand on its own two feet? About. Take first exit to a band road. Uh, are they going to make a good Wonder Woman movie that can stand on its own two feet? Or are we actually just going to see a lead-in to the Justice League, which would be a very boring movie? Interesting point. Now. We should uh, point out that I have never seen any of the Wonder Woman TV shows or cartoons. Yeah. I've never read any of the comics, and I haven't seen the trailer for this movie. And the same almost applies to you, John. Yeah, pretty much, except that I saw a special feature. Take first exit to Shut a band road. Shut the fuck up, GPS. 
So the important thing to think about is that we are not coming in as great Wonder Woman fans. We don't know the lore, we don't know the history of the series, and so we're not going in with any expectations or prejudices. We don't know what to expect, and so we're going to come in with completely innocent eyes. To We really just are going to judge this as a movie on its own without uh, knowing what Wonder Woman should be, because we have no prior experiences of her. That's right, Stuart Blank, or whatever your name was. Glenn Blank. <laughs> Glenn Blank. We're coming into it as two idiots with a camera and fake name. <laughs> yep. Anyway, we're coming into the theatre right now. We're driving no, into we're the... Not. We're, <laughs> we're driving right now. We're second exit to a band road. We're coming into the car park right now, so we're about to head into the theatres and we're going to be seeing this movie and we'll come back afterwards with what our with impressions an are. An incredibly detailed and uh, well-educated review. Well said, John. Well said. Yes. Any final words? Um, I like to eat pickles. That's about it. Mm, yep. <laughs> This is Stop Eating My Popcorn on Beers 99.9 .9 FM Substitute Radio. Catch you later. I don't even like popcorn.